So, the land strength workout. This is, uh, so what, day three. It's our second land workout, and this is uh, part B. So, this is Hunter, he's gonna be our demo man. So, um, first exercise, just straight squat. You learned that in the first class when we talked about straight body squat. This man does it a hell of a lot better than I do. So he goes down, right, feet straight ahead, knees over the toes, that's great. Now we're gonna do a squat, second exercise here, squat with the arms in four different positions. So arms front, arms side, arms back, and arms overhead. Next we have narrow and wide. Do your squats with your feet close together and your feet as wide as possible. Thank you. Now, feet turned out, feet turned in. Easy for most people to turn them out. Very, very difficult for people to turn them in. You'll feel that. Now, we're going to do this uh, for the squatting. We're also going to do it in the push ups and we're going to do it in the chin ups. So you'll get used to the idea. It's uh, breaking uh, a movement in, into its uh, quarters. So, if I just here, quarter down. Up. Half down, quarter, half, up. Three quarters, half, three quarters, quarters, three quarters, up. Full, three quarters, full, half, full, quarter, full, up. Great way. <laughs> uh, it's a good balance one, but it's a good strength coordination one. All right. Now a bouncing squat. So as such as doing the squat, he bounces the whole time on the way down. Get a little vibration. We know how good vibration is. And here we're putting a little on ourselves. Uh, up on the toes. So, and up on the toes, and you notice the way his feet are not turning out, they're staying in. So you can just go up and down on your toes, that's fine. But then you can go up on your toes, and from there you go into your squat. And then when you come back up, you walk up on the toes. Then we have a drop squat. So here, Hunter's going to go fast from the top of the squat into the bottom. Okay, good. Uh, a good shot. Um, next one, squat position, touch the knee immediately on the ground. So there, touch, touch. And then you can do that with actually with a, uh, oh, two, two, yes, thank you, I didn't have the two, but thank you. Now you do the uh, 180 roll. So you touch the knee, roll 180, come back up, touch the other knee, and roll 180. All right, thank you. Now we're going to do um, a little more of what would be uh, strength speed, and this is a drop squat. So we're going to just use off the bench here. So first one is straight, and you want to go down and really absorb as little noise as possible to get all the way to the bottom. We're just going to do one uh, 90. You would, you would obviously turn both both sides. But, uh, it's one more spot. Yes, right yes, right there. So that's a 90. You would do it to the right side next. But now we're going to do a 180. Super. And then we finish with a 360. Nice. <laughs> so, this is why I have this man as the devil man. I see our cameraman too. Is, could do, easily do all this. Okay, kneeling, and you go up to a tight squat. So from here, you're nice and low, and then you stay low and put the rear end down. Okay? Um, so next would be, now kneeling, go up in a straight body. So last time we talked about um, pelvis stability. Here, you have to be so strong in the glutes and the lower abs to come up with a perfectly straight body and then go down with a perfectly straight body. Slowly. <laughs> well done, thank you. Then we're going to do some squat walking. So you can get low, just do a few steps forward and backwards. So really go low forward and then backwards. And you can also do it by touching the knee down as you walk forward. It's like that. Yes. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Then we are uh, we get in a tuck because uh, this man's a ski racer. So let's see. You can get in a tuck, and the best idea in a tuck is you can't walk forward. But for me, it's uh, more important than the tuck to walk back. Okay. Thank you. Now we're going to have a move called Nancy's twist, and um, I don't know if we can just uh, feel it. Yes. So, uh, I'm going to cross over. And you spin one, uh, three, three, sixty. Yes. So, yes, so you can do it two ways. Here, because we're doing squat day, you're doing it with a squat, or you can do it just by itself. And if you keep the pelvis in alignment and controlled, then you spin in balance. As soon as you break the pelvis, you like a curveball. You go off in another direction. So here, Hunter's doing it. 
So he does the spin, probably easier without shoes, but anyway, and then he does a squat, and then he comes back up and spins the other. The reason that's Nancy's twist is that was developed when Dr. Verdenko worked with Nancy Kerrigan um, after she got clubbed in the leg by uh, Tanya Harding's bodyguard. Anyway, okay, thank you. <laughs> Speed skate squat, really good for the other side of your rear end. You lift the leg high in front of you, turn it behind, you go down, and then you bring it back. Excellent. Here's a good one. Um, this bench may be a little high. Cross. So you're going to punch it, you're going to cross this leg in front. Really good for outside of the cross in front, kick, cross in front, kick, cross behind. Oh, nice. Kick, cross behind. Okay. Um, obviously, you could use different heights on that. That's a good, uh, good coordination and um, a good, really, I just say, good for the outside of the knees. Now we have a big step squat over here. So, can you just, just do a step up here? When you do a step up, uh, just face it. Yeah, you can do a face it. So, face up. Okay. Now, so watch when he makes the step up, the, the, the pelvis doesn't break. This, yeah, this stays right there, so he pushes up, he's pushing up through the belt. So we see people do the, the step ups all the time when they're going, and as they go, they have to move forward, this bends. Uh, we'd like to see this here, so you're going up and down straight. So when we do the big step squat, now we come on to a, a big box. It's not a bad idea. Um, how about if we face it? Oh, there you go. So, it's good to hold a person's hand so you're coming up and down, you're getting great range, and you're doing an enormous step. Try to keep the chest a little straighter. And right there. Okay, thank you. Really difficult. Okay, now we're getting into the one leg squats. If you do a one leg squat on a bench, you don't have to have as much flexibility in the opposite leg because it can actually go below level of the ground. If you're doing it on the ground, then you have to have more flexibility. So we'll just ask. I'm not sure can do it either way, but we'll do it on the bench for now so you get the idea. So, one leg squat with three different leg positions. So the first one is the leg is in front. It doesn't do whatever, do, do your best, but we can say if you have to go below. So, one leg squat, leg front, very nice. Leg side, nice. Leg behind. Fantastic. Right, and now arms follow the legs. So, arms front with the leg front, arms side with the leg side, arms back with the leg back. Thank you. And there's one that I don't think I wrote on here, but we will show you anyway. This is um, a good, really good coordination with the one leg squat, so it's leg swinging. So this, remember, both, uh, both arms leg back, both arms back. And you go down, yes, you do the full squat. and you do the full squat. You go down and up, and then down and up. So the arms follow the legs. Now the arms will do opposite of the legs. So, so this one I, I didn't put on the sheet. So we'll get that put on there. And now as if you're running. The third one as if you're running. So the simple squats. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's very good. That's very good. Okay, thank you. Now. Here's about uh, walking. Uh, walking into a one-leg squat. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to. It's obvious. You walk forward or backwards and into the one-leg squat. That's very good. And now do a one-leg squat and then jump to the other side. On this? Uh, on the So one-leg squat. Come up. Jump the other side. Yes. Very nicely done. Right. Now this is the one uh, hook, leg hook squat. Go oh, this one. Perfect. That's really good flexibility, it's nice and long. I'm, I run out of position for this one. Four position hamstring stretch into a one leg squat. So, <laughs> the man was not looking forward to this one. So, lie on the back of this. So, just show you the four stretches first. So, you would hold your quad. So, hold the quad first, and you would come up and down twice. Once and twice. Do that again. Yes. Now, hold your knee, go twice. Once, twice. Now hold your ankle and go twice. Okay. Now hold your foot and go twice. Okay. twice. Perfect. Now you can do any one of those four positions and you would come up into a one-way squat on the other leg. Wow, well done. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. Um, rocking squat. So your feet have really good test of the knees. So feet are glued together. And you're going to, yes, go up on your toes, up on your heels, and the whole time you're trying to keep your rear end as low as possible. Then you would do it one leg, at least a little test. Uh, but you can pull up the other leg down. Yes. So toes, heels, well done. Next one, feel the arch. So feet are together and go side to side, feeling the arch. And then again, like the last one, you're doing it one leg. Or you can put it behind the floor. Yes. So you feel the arch on the other side. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. I have here uh, next mini lunges, all the varieties. You saw that in the, um, the first class for pelvis stability. That probably not only great for pelvis stability because as you're moving, you're keeping the pelvis in alignment, but unbelievable for knee strength. Before I named them mini lunges, I had them uh, knee strength nurse. All right. But here, so Hunter's going to get in the mini lunge position. Okay. So knee is close to the heel. Pelvis is straight. Now he's taking the back foot off the ground, and from here he stands up, not bad. And we're trying to keep the pelvis as straight as possible. That's really difficult. And then the next one is, um, yes, yeah, quad stretch squats. So you go down and you come up and you keep the pelvis in alignment. That's very, very well done. GHGs. Um, we won't. We won't do the man has a little bit of a sore hamstring. But can you get dealing? What can happen is on the GHG, we would uh, hold here, Hunter would go down and come back up. And, uh, yes, actually, the man who's doing the camera, he could do that without pushing himself with his hands. So, uh, last one, ah, we'll show you here. So, you learned the plank in the first class to strengthen lower abs. Now we're doing squats, so we'll put them both together. Then we'll do the leg. Right here? Mm -hmm. And now do the squats. How many? One, two. <laughs> Very good. All right. So that's your, uh, your squat stuff that you can give a try. Remember, if anything hurts, don't do. But give it a shot. And uh, you'll see that we also went simple to complicated. We did some that would just be considered strength. We also started to move a little more, so we did some speed strength. We added some coordination. So there we go. Now we're into the push-ups. Very simple. <laughs> don't need a break. We, no, no break. No break. Thank you, because we got the camera running. OK, so the first one, hands close together. Perfect. OK, now shoulder width apart, and then wide. We don't do a lot of the wide, we kind of like the, uh, the close and the hands on the shoulder. Now we got to do the same thing that we did in the squats with full and quarter. So to start up top, quarter down, up, half, quarter, half, up, three quarters, half, three quarters, quarter, three quarters, up, full, three quarters, full, half, full, quarter, full, up. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, now we'll bouncing bouncing one, which we did uh, in the squat, so it's the same thing. You bounce on the way down, and you bounce on the way up, that's the vibration, and we'll give you a little more vibration later. Now feet turned up, feet turned in. You jump your phone? I hope just, just so. So you can do a whole bunch like that, you can alternate them, you can do them. Let's say your feet are turned down a lot, and you want to work on them in, then you can do your push-ups and add to that, or you can uh, actually you can bounce if you want and show all right, thank you. Um, then we have the fists. I mean, I'm sure you know all of these. We're just giving you a nice variety. We have uh, karate hands. Yes. No. Yeah. Thank you. Then we have on the fingers. Super. Then in the plank position, I'm doing the push-up. Okay. So yes. And then in the plank, and making it one smooth move right up to the fingers. Super. Okay, and now I just wanted this man to do very well. Hands flip over. So extra flexibility. Very, very nice. Now, push up with your hands in four different positions. 
So both, right? So both would be straight ahead. So let's say we're just going to do it on one side. You would end up doing it on one side. So the left hand is straight ahead. Now the left hand or right hand, perfect, turned out. Turn back. This one? Yep. And now turn to the inside. Yes. And then you would do that the same on the other side. And all the different combinations that go with that. Okay, thank you. Uh, really important. This is a good one. Good for the glutes at the same time. So push up with a leg raise. So now he's raising as he's going down. Now raise then go down. Yes. So you have both difference and that helps in the coordination. No question. Thank you. Lateral splits and crawl. So, yes. So a bit of flexibility added to the, so the legs are there, you test the ground, you crawl forward, do your push-up, you crawl back, go up on your toes, hands over there. Nice. Now do the same thing with the leg raise. So as you go down, push up, raise the leg, and then come back. Thank you. Now our next one's a Chinese or a dive bomber. So you go down and you move through. So that's in one direction, and now you go in the other direction. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Okay. Now, in the push-up position, please. We have one with uh, feet holding the feet. Okay. So, this is feet high. So you can put them anywhere you want. Right? So you would do the push-up in that position. Now, just hold the position, and you can let go of a foot, and the person has to tighten the glutes. And now you can do it without telling them. So, <laughs> so they have to stay tight the whole time. Then, we're not going to go to the wall. We have handstand. Ready? <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> okay. Um, we have, uh, I'm sure you folks have all done this. You can do a push up either on the wall or on two. So you can have double. Thank you. Now do a single. Oh, my one more. Uh, yeah. But you can have the hands. You can slide it hand to hand, obviously. You can also do it this way. Thank you. Now do the double and pass me the ball. Yeah. Right, down, up, and pass. Thank you. So you get the idea. More coordination, good variety. Change the stimulus, it gets results. Now you're about to die because so we had between benches. We're not don't worry, you know that's easy to do. Just between the benches, the same as between the balls. You're gonna try it? No. No. Okay, come on. One arm. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. So one arm. Thank you. One arm switch. One arm switch. Thank you. Yeah. Can the cameraman here make this last one famous? Quad stretch, one arm. Good stretch with flexibility, but not necessarily flexibility in your body part. But go. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. So everyone's done this. Wheelbarrow. So just don't you don't have to move far. So you're here. Obviously, you're walking your partner forward and you're walking your partner backwards. But you can also add hops, because now we're starting to get into a little bit of plyometrics with our push-ups. Okay, so that's, that's a good one. And then, kneeling to falling. So you want to kneel on this. This is a, uh, first of all, you're going to get more or less, just like the drop squat, you get a little bit of shock. So you just fall in and you absorb. Thank you. Now, you fall in and you've got to push yourself back up and you've got to maintain the straight pelvis. Push, go! Ooh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> bad at all. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, full body. So, push up here. No, I wouldn't get to do it. Full body off the ground. Oh, yes. Okay. So, full body. Here we go. Up. Nice. Now we're going to do it with turns. 
I've seen a guy do a 180. I've seen a guy get in a ball and do a 180, but just a 90 turn would be perfect for that field. Yeah, uh, right there. Now clap. Clap push up. Clap push up. No, just clap. Straight clap. Thank you. Clap behind the back. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. Very, very good. And then there's also touching different body parts. Um, we have drop. So let's say, um, just put your hands on the bench and then uh, drop to the ground. So right here, it's like the falling one, but a little more shock. Yes. And you absorb. Look at the guy from the uh, Washington Redskins that held him seven feet in the air and he dropped into the squat. That's pretty good. And then you have falling. So straight and body as possible. A lot of times we'll do this on the side of the hill. But right there, that's a really good shot for the, uh, the arms. Um, extend it. So, um, this one here, really, really, if you, you can handle this, that means you've got great shoulders, phenomenal lower abs, and a good back. If you have any pain in the lower back, you don't try this one. So. Nice. Fantastic. One arm. Nope. Here we go. One arm. Thank you. So just let me do a couple of two arms first. And then you can roll into it. Fantastic. Thanks. Then, okay, last three. Um, you're happy it's over. Yeah. Okay, so you can have push ups. Can you get done in a push up position? Now you need a little partner work, so it's a little more coordination. So my partner can be there, and I can do the push up. Or my partner does the push up, and I don't necessarily do anything, or we can both do the push up, which I think we will kill him. Okay, then he turns over on the back, hands up. So here, he has to lock his arms so his strength is there. I do the push-up, or he does the push-up. Or we both do the push-up, and I'll give him a little less. <laughs> Thank you. And the last one, this is a lot of fun. You can really trick your friends in this one. Um, we talked about vibration. So you're going to tell your partner that uh, he's going to do a push-up on your back. So I get down in the push-up position. I'm going to do a push-up on my back. You put your body there. So Hunter gets down in the push-up position. As he does the push-ups, <laughs> I shake. We'll try that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So I would shake. Now, the way he can stop me is he just has to grab my lats and just punch me into the ground. Then it becomes a little less. Yes. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Hope you have a good time trying all this stuff. Cheers.